I wanted to test a hidden ranking signal that no one is talking about. So last year, I built a series of sites to see if embedding hidden image EXIF data affects rankings. And while I've been able to answer that question with quite some success, I also stumbled across a couple of interesting things along the way. The first is Gary from Google tweeted that low quality and spammy content is not indexed anymore, which it just isn't true because most of my single factor test sites are built with spammy duplicate content. And I'm going to be sharing some of those sites with you in just a moment. Secondly, John from Google put out a video sharing his image SEO advice, which included things like uh, using high quality images, use descriptive alt text, add captions, optimize file names, and so on. But what he and most other image SEO guides don't talk about is using this hidden embedded EXIF data and whether it has an impact on your rankings. So to test that, I made up a target long tail keyword that returned zero search results. Then I registered three domains with 10 characters each that also didn't return any results when searched. Next, I built three identical sites with duplicate gibberish content across each of them. The only difference between the three sites was I changed the homepage title to match the domain, I set a unique gibberish meta description, and a single unique bullet point, none of which included our target long tail keyword. Then, I created three unique images that Google did not recognize, and I added one image per site with a slightly different strategy each time. With the first site, I added the image with zero optimization. I didn't include the, the target keyword in the file name or the alt tag. In fact, the only place the target keyword appears is here in the text, which is right before the image in the code. The second site was exactly the same as the first site, except this time I applied traditional image SEO advice like optimizing the file name, adding alt text, and paying attention to surrounding content. The third site was the same as the second site with file names, alt text, and surrounding content optimized to the same specification, except this time I also embedded hidden EXIF data directly into the image targeting our test keyword. In the end, I had built three sites, one with zero optimization, one with traditional image SEO techniques, and one with the traditional techniques plus the embedded EXIF data. So after a year of running this experiment, what do you think happened? Well, the results are really interesting, but before I share them with you, I need you to hit the subscribe button so that I know you want to see more videos like this one. So just click to subscribe and receive all alerts right now because the results are going to speak for themselves. Firstly, Google indexed all of the duplicate gibberish content sites just fine. But most importantly, and despite many algorithm updates over the last year, Google consistently ranked the site with hidden EXIF data in the number one position. The site that followed traditional image SEO advice in the number two position, and the site with zero optimization in the number three position. If you take a closer look at the images themselves, you can see that the image with the hidden EXIF data has this extra image credits option, and that includes our target keyword. But if we look at the other images, you will see they don't have the image credit option at all. Remember, each of these sites are using duplicate content. So that led me to believe that image EXIF data does play a role. So I decided to set up a second batch of test sites under exactly the same conditions, but this time each site was going to have unique gibberish content instead of the duplicate gibberish content. So I went through the same process. I found a target long tail keyword that returned zero search results. I registered three domains that also returned zero results and created three images that Google did not recognize. I built the first site with zero image optimization, the second site with traditional image optimization advice, and the third site with the traditional advice plus embedded EXIF data. And well, you'll never guess what happened. The site with embedded EXIF data ranks first, the one with traditional image SEO techniques in second, and the one with zero optimization in third. 
And well, that is exactly what happened in my first batch of test sites. So does image EXIF data influence rankings? Yeah, it seems so. But the problem is that most traditional image SEO advice and tools like Google's PageSpeed Insights tell you to compress your images, which will leave many of you using a plugin like WP Smush, ShortPixel, or Imagify. The problem with that is these plugins often strip this valuable hidden EXIF data in an effort to reduce image size. So if you have been following traditional image SEO advice, you might want to take a closer look just to make sure you're not stripping out this hidden data accidentally. And I'm sure you are wondering how to add this hidden data to your images. Well, for that, I need you to quickly click to subscribe and receive all alerts so I know that you want to see more videos like this one. Then just check out the description below to learn how to add targeted EXIF data to your images for free.